General Vagina Fags ah! It's so raw I'm talking about infections and care of the vagina in general Thank you, I can't remember <laughs> Today we have a guest on my channel. This is Zainab. She's going to introduce herself here, but she is a Nigerian YouTuber based in Niger State. So take it out from there. So guys, my name is Zainab. As she said, I am a YouTuber based in Niger State. Mina, firstly. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy she's here as well. I think it's like my first ever collaboration. First ever. So guys, I'm going to tag her on the title of this video and also put her name on the screen so please i beg you i beg you go and check out her channel i beg you i beg you, I beg you. go and check out her channel and you can do well to subscribe as well so today we're going to be talking about topics that women never talk about mm -hmm. they never talk about it and we're going to be talking about the reason why they don't talk about it and the reason why we should talk about it more and it's also a really good one because i'm a married lady and she's a single lady so sorry <laughs> So we're going to be um, dabbing like in all aspects of it, not just for single ones or for married ones. It's going to be like an all-rounder thing that ladies don't like talking about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do have to subscribe and like and share and comment. And yeah, let's go. For the first issue we're going to be talking about that ladies don't like talking about, mm -hmm. it has to be marital crisis. crisis. Marital um, abuse. Marital abuse, yeah. Anything marriage. So first of all, I would like to put that marriage generally, we all like to talk about that time mm -hmm. where something good is happening to us. And marriage is one of the good things that happens to women. Mm -hmm. When we now get into marriage, mm -hmm. eh, another thing is the thing people face in marriage. Because let's be honest, marriage is not easy. Marriage is really not easy. And people feel that it should just be you and husband and your God. And your God. Now we understand that fact. It's a very, very important fact. But at the same time, I don't know who created the rules about not bringing a third party into your marriage. A third party is basically someone that you tell about the problems you go into your marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah, someone yeah. you talk to. You talk to. Mm -hmm. And it has to be somebody you like literally trust. There should be somebody that you can actually talk to when things are happening. I'm going to put a clip when a lot of people are talking about um, third party being in your marriage. That bullshit that people used to say. Eh, eh, don't bring any third party into your marriage. Don't tell people things about your marriage. You keep it between the two of you. Two of you solve that problem by yourself. Nonsense. Do not believe them. That's what they is in trapping you. They don't even want you to have up. Like the all these thoughts like they ploy for people to like keep you in your marriage for you to stay there and, and suffer and suffer just because you're not because they're afraid that when you start telling people, people start giving you ideas about and I understand some people give ideas on okay, leave your husband. That's so what if your husband, husband is beating you like daily beating? You. What if your husband kills you? Who will stay for your kids? <laughs> <laughs> I think that should, that, that should be the question you should be asking yourself. Yeah, that is the question. But women don't like talking about these things because of the shame. They like to paint a picture perfect marriage. You think but, I think they feel way. every woman um, facing through shameless. Yes. It's Which actually shame, so. shameful. Shameful, sorry. Yes, yes. shameful. So yeah, and that's why women don't like talking about because they they've actually they probably have seen like a situation where you tell somebody and that friend takes it to another person to go and talk about it. The thing is that when you you have to get somebody that you actually trust, sometimes it can just be your circle of family, it can be your sisters. I it's hard for you start to betray you. It can be your mom. You know, I had a woman that told me that if I'm facing anything in my marriage, I should tell her. But this woman is actually my mom's age mate, like they're kind like kind of close in mm -hmm. age. But at the long run, I know I I noticed that that woman is somebody that talks too much. Mm. So which eventually, when I turn on my partner, she she's probably she's eventually going to tell somebody else, and it's going to start passing through yeah. that. So just get somebody that you feel you can trust. It necessarily mustn't, mustn't be an older woman. It can be a younger woman like you who is also a man because when you see somebody and talk somebody that you can relate to, it just helps your overall mental health. It helps you to know how to deal with it. It helps like the person can actually give you like advice for you to. You know, cope with such things. So yeah, I think women should start talking about things that has to come. Can actually get a therapist, you know? Exactly. Someone you don't know. Exactly. So, someone you don't know. Someone that doesn't know you very well. Yes, yes, yes. A therapist. A professional therapist, therapist, please. Yeah. 
So yeah, but Nigeria head, we even take therapy seriously. You don't. Do we that. don't. <laughs> they don't because we still feel that that therapy is a third party in our marriage. So oh, that therapy will advise you. So give you bad advice. Yeah, negative. Uh, negative advice. So in all, I, marriage is not easy. To be honest, so if you don't have, it's like, scaring me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Why you don't have people you talk to about these things? Mm -hmm. I mean. Is really going to be hard for you to deal with. One person I actually love talking to about this is my other sister because she's also into marriage mm -hmm. and she knows what's in. So, you know, it just keeps us going, mm -hmm. passing ideas. Okay, what happened? What happened? Okay, mm -hmm. this is how you can handle it. Share your problems with somebody. Invite a third party. I don't know. Just somebody you trust. Okay, so yeah, we're going to start talking about it. More stop bottling that feeling. Stop God. It. It's ah. going to mess you up. Trust me, it's going to mess you up. Yeah, so we're going to go into the number two, which is age. <laughs> Let's say, are you older than me? <laughs> In secondary school, then I speak mm. to because I felt I was part of the youngest Yes. Wow. People don't really know because I was really? big now. Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah one of I was one of the smallest. Yes. Yeah. Smallest boy. Yeah, age, I was one of the smallest. Are you serious? Yes, so. You have to be more than your age boy. You you go. If you are too complex, that's what. Yeah. That's just what it is. Do you have any other example about? Like why women not talk about yeah, yeah. I feel women get jealous of each other then if you're to complain. Most mostly it's just if you're to complain. Oh yeah, older yeah, than me. Yeah, yeah, older than me, I'm older than you. you you're know? not supposed to do this, you're not something like that. You understand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I felt yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I felt yeah, the yeah, second yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, up until now I still don't feel comfortable talking about my age. I, I do not Some like people it. don't know about my age and I don't mm -hmm. like I don't like, I don't like it at all. But I'll talk about it on my channel. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it. I don't like talking about my age. I don't like people asking me that. Yeah, I do not like people asking me about my age. I don't know why. I still feel so. But we're going to discuss it because we're talking about things women don't like that. We should discuss. I think it's nothing. It's nothing. I feel. I feel. I feel some women are actually bullies. You know. You know. If you're older than me, we're on the same. Let's say we're on the same. Um, on the same range or on the same team. I'm older than me. So you, you, you. Some women actually use that age thing to. Especially African mm -hmm. women. Exactly. You know? Just to bully the other one, yeah, she understands something bully. like that. Like, oh, I don't think I'm older than you. Ah, no, 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 we just need to write it. And I feel like t telling you about your age could also help them. Like, you know, there are some job opportunities that give age range. Mm, yeah, if yeah. they don't know your age range, how do they want to, like, okay, okay, um, there's this, um, this thing, work coming out, and mm -hmm. it falls down in your age and you know, all of that. So I don't feel, I don't feel it's something we should have. Do you know how many times I would like that one my age? When you go to court to change <laughs> No, 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 no. You know, I know somebody, a female that went to court to change her age. Why? I don't know. So women, please talk about your age. Can I help you? Yes, so it can I help you. Forget about them being bullies. Yeah, forget about them. So the third point we're going to talk about is our, about our appearances. I feel women don't. In fact, not that I feel. I know women People, don't they like. They don't like talking about it at all, at all, at all. I'm like, ah, oh, bless. I like you, but how much did you buy? Like, mm, I can't remember. <laughs> I, thank you. I can't, I can't remember. remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember, like, I can't remember their best quotes. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, be like it was a gift. Oh, it was a gift. Someone. Exactly. Just tell me how much you bought it. Go on. Go on. I want to buy it. Exactly. Like, it does buying it make me a competition to you? It doesn't. The manufacturers produce thousands and thousands of the same bag. I don't mm -hmm. understand why you're hiding it. You won't tell me where you got it. You won't tell me the price. Are you hiding the price? Why are you hiding the price? Mm. Why are you? It doesn't like, make sense. It's really not necessary. <laughs> not necessary i mean women talk about right women um, lifting up women so mm -hmm. why are you hiding how would you lift them up if you hide the things that you actually do that can actually help them look as me if somebody wants to look good if somebody sees me as like a model mm -hmm. to copy mm -hmm. i i am really happy you bought this oh oh yeah i got it for this also. Mm -hmm. yeah that's not a problem for me i really do divulge like anything i get i got oh this is really pretty how much you get it i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you yeah so yeah it shouldn't be an issue. You are you, you especially. Your you know, I don't know. <laughs> especially how style. Okay, I like your style. Who sold it for you? Oh, like I can't remember. I don't have really. Been. Yes, yes. I've gone through it very well. Serious. Yeah, not that nice. Yeah. Wow. Very well. Wow. Okay, I saw this style with somebody, and I loved. It. I'm like, oh, who 
so the homemade dress for you. Like, oh, she's carrying over. Okay, give me the person's number. She's like, ah, the person has gone to camp. I'm like, ah, <laughs> this person is a business person. Just send wow. the person that, okay, I want to sew. <laughs> said, no, the person has gone to camp. The person doesn't have time. I'm wow. like, ah. Hey. Because they don't want you to start looking like them. Exactly. It's really not necessary. Yeah, it's not necessary. And the next point is general vagina. <laughs> <laughs> this is so raw. No, I no, we're shy. Mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, general, you have to tell me. Did you discuss your like the JJ issues? I'm not. I'm not going to on the screen. So you're like, <laughs> DJ, you discuss it with someone. Uh, your, your my friend, like, my friend, my friend. Okay, your friend. Okay, have one friend. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So even friend. when you have like infections, because women are prone to infections. See, there are infections that are infections, and there are infections that are like yeast infection and mm-hmm. bacteria infection mm-hmm. and normal infections. They are very common. They are very common, and it's when like it, it just happens even without you having sex mm-hmm. or something like that. It's just the balance of that bacteria and mm-hmm. yeast that causes you to have infection. So all those ones are common, not things like staphylococcus and mm. all the hair. That one you know is like big, big, big. But things like yeast, um, bacteria, and you know. Okay, so you have somebody you discuss it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of recent, I was asking one of my friends something, and my sister was like, my younger sister was like, close mm. my shoulder. Like she also wants to hear this gist because she finds it hard to discuss with somebody about this particular mm. issue. We're talking about infections and care of the vagina in general, and you know all of that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Too much information. <laughs> So and myself like she wants to hear that she wants to learn because she really finds it hard talking to people. I was like, ah, it shouldn't be. I also found it hard when I was growing up, but now I think weird, don't hard. Yeah, okay, okay, weird. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. really weird. But now it shouldn't be something you guys are ashamed of. Yeah. We all want to know how to make our down there smell really good. We all want okay. to know. Yeah, we all want to know. Okay, if this thing is itching you, why is it? It's why is why it itching me? me? If this thing is uh, smelling what's so so why is it, what exactly what's the cause? Mm-hmm. I mean, there was somebody there. There should be somebody else that have experienced it. That mm-hmm. if you share with that person, that person can tell you, okay, this is what you can do, or go to the hospital. Tell a doctor about or oh, this happened to me and this is what I did. But I, I tell you go to the hospital, see a doctor, so I can diagnose and every other thing. So I mean it's not it's nothing. I saw I was watching somebody's uh, business on YouTube she was talking about how she went to a pap smear. It has to do with like you know vaginal test and you know all of that. So all those things are nothing. Women should talk about it more. It's it's really nothing to be honest. It's I really think they should set up they should set up a program based on that topic. Um, I think some people actually do. But mm. normal people, <laughs> normal people like us, <laughs> yeah, still, we still find it difficult. <laughs> like yeah. us. But going from now on, I shouldn't. I, I mean, I don't. I, I shouldn't. To be honest, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> so what causes it? What causes women not to talk about their is the okay. Let's just talk about infections now, or probably a certain smell that mm. your vagina is having. Or it is for people not to see you as a dirty person. For me, that is what I feel, that is what I think. If you maybe when you discuss it with somebody, you start seeing us <laughs> this one doesn't even take care, take care of herself or something yeah. like that. And then that's that if you want to complex so that might start diminishing mm. your yes. I think women don't talk about it because of that that particular reason. I mean that's my own you what do you think? I think I think so. I think so. Yeah. Like ah this girl is dead, she doesn't exactly. take care of herself. Exactly, mm. exactly. But these are normal things, okay? Bacteria, yeast infection, these are normal things. Yeah, that common are, that really common. Next thing that I feel that women don't like talking about also is miscarriage. Infertility. Ooh. Very infertility is like the highest and also freezing of our eggs. That anything that has to do with you know bringing our children up. We don't like talking about it. So <laughs> I feel women don't talk about infertility because they don't want other women to look down with them. It's still boys down on all these things. If you want to complete, are they God? They're God. They are not God, yeah. But okay, let me God just say. Give out children. I faced, know that I faced infertility. Okay, if you if you you did, you're, yeah, I did. Ooh. for a year plus, I faced infertility for a year plus. So, and I did not like. In fact, nobody must hear of it. Right? It should just be among gods. Let's just know what and what we are doing. So I was going to hospitals doing things. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew. Do you know the time I decided to open up to my auntie, which I, who I was living with in when I was um, schooling, mm. was when I actually had a solution to my problem. For she told me, okay, there was somebody that um, this went through this, and the person used this, 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 and she was like, okay, fine, let's go and see the person, let her tell us the processes she took. We went to see that person. The first moment of trying that thing, I, I took in. Really? Seriously, so this is the reason why you should share certain things. So please, try to share these things for infertility. I think it's 
for people not to look down and look at you as a barren woman. People don't like that tag barren, which I don't see anything. You are not God. So start sharing things like that. Then God is actually the girl of children. Yes, exactly. Then for Miss Kai, people don't like talking about it. So it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. Somebody might help you out from that thing you're actually facing. You, know, you never know. So you should learn to open up. Yeah, learn to open up. It really doesn't matter. If you're freezing your eggs and you want to ask people about it or you want to do IVF, don't see, don't let people see you as somebody that's incapable. There's one woman on YouTube, uh, Lily Pope TV. I don't know if you know her. No, 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 no. She did IVF and she's pregnant with twins right now. Mm. Yes. And she talks about it openly because she like her struggles have been there. It has been like she's been struggling to conceive. She has a child, but I don't think she conceiving is like a problem for her. She had to do IVF. So if you're doing IVF or this thing, you shouldn't talk to people about it. People can give this from her. I learned that when you want to do IVF, there are grades of egg you shouldn't even choose just for you to get pregnant. You shouldn't choose some grades of egg. She chose um, a particular grade of egg because she feels that okay, pregnancy is pregnancy, but she even lost that baby. Yeah, because the grade wasn't really good. So be open about it. You can help somebody and somebody can help you. It's as simple as that. So please, women, be open about these things. Really Talk about cool. it, please. Talk about it. Women don't like talking about their achievements. Zainab, take it away. Oh, achievement. <laughs> yes, that's a lot. Like Someone yeah. likes me. I think about myself every day. I'm like, you, okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, not achieved anything, no, but looking at what I have done so far. Yeah. Is, I'm, I'm thankful. Yeah, I'm thankful about this. Yeah, true. I, um, there's this thing going on. On I'm going to put up a post right now. I have the screenshot, and there was like a lot of ladies say they do things like themselves. They work hard. They done this, done this to buy houses, cars, blah 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 blah. DJ, a popular DJ that said something about women talking about how hard they worked, but that he knows the men that are actually behind those women's the lavish things to women, their lavish lifestyles, mm -hmm. the cars they buy, the houses, and you know all of that. Stop you believe in feminism. Like you said, you said they don't need a man. Yes, now feminism. You don't, oh, need, a, you don't need a man to achieve. achieve yes. Yeah, it's feminism. But they're actually lying just because they don't want to share how they got that thing. There's not somebody if they share how they... There's no... Uh, I mean, I don't care how we live their life. Just like the guy talk. But don't come and start making us feel that we don't... We are not where we are supposed to be, you get? Like we're not doing anything. Yeah, like we're not they, doing anything. I don't know the pains for that woman to be... To be lazy, lazy oh, exactly. Lazy. And it's not like it's not so it's right. It's not fair, I swear. It's not right. It causes uh -huh. depression. It does. It does. Very actually. Well. It really does. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me what you actually. If if this thing you're doing is like hard, don't make me feel as if this thing is easy for you and it's hard for me. Tell me what you're. Okay, don't tell me that you're living with married <laughs> men. Like, yeah, don't. Fine, I know people like, have their private life, but don't come and make it seem like oh. You achieve everything through hard work, work and labor. Work. Same hard work me and you are doing. And you are telling that your own is, is grace. Your own is close back. <laughs> so I was actually, even I think guys actually had a problem talking about these things. Because I was actually asking one guy, we schooled um, together. And I was like, I'm seeing all these guys from our school and they are like making a lot of ways, like money. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking the guy, what's up now? Can't you tell them to put you in? And he was like, he, asked, he actually asked one of the guys. And the guy was telling me his grace. That is God. It's not good. <laughs> Tell me that thing now. If it's to put me in, let me know. Yes, let me also hustle my own. Maybe that grace will follow me too, but if you tell him. So I think some guys are also also um guilty about all these things. So please ladies, like achievement. If you're doing something, okay. <laughs> oh, and if I want to know, okay, what is that? Can you put me in? Put me through put me in to fish. <laughs> Give me fish. No. Take me out to carry <laughs> fish. Not me the fish. <laughs> So, yeah, I said, because yeah, giving yeah. you the future actually make you lazy. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah. The last point we have to do <laughs> well, is sex. <laughs> Fags all. We're going to put it on screen. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Let's take it away. I'm already talking about sex with my friends recently. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm open about it. Mm -hmm. Because they can actually help me spice up things that mm -hmm. I don't know. And I can actually help them spice up things. I but before... I see it as a sin. Don't even talk about it. Don't talk about it. Close to you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't don't talk about it. But like I don't I don't I don't care. The same one. Me I don't know what you people do. Ooh. Me I'm married. So I did my own life. I did my own life. Yeah. My friends are also married. And I don't feel that they're not talking about like. So we actually teach ourselves how to spice things up. Mm -hmm. There was something I said once. I was like, ooh, like seriously, you do this. Uh, so it doesn't like, I don't know, it shouldn't be something to be ashamed of. I don't know. Because mine is not a bit. And it's like that. Why are you out? Okay, yeah, so 
know there's really not much talk about it, Shabo. Yeah, this is the reason why women women don't talk about sex often, probably because they feel that it's a sin. It's not. It's inappropriate. Yeah, that's what yeah, it's inappropriate. inappropriate. And then we should talk about. You're not supposed to say it. Ah, are you not ashamed of yourself? Blah blah blah. Yeah, like that. Yeah, you're not ah. saying, uh, why? Yeah, 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 your husband. Okay, although don't tell them how, like, your husband hangs his leg and hangs No, not that, but at least. You That's some things you're supposed to teach. Exactly. exactly. And you can also teach me. So, yeah, I mean. That's it. If you guys know of any other thing that women are also scared to talk about, please put it in the comment section. Mm -hmm. If you want to continue to work with this course, comment section is open. And if among the ones we've mentioned, there's one that you really don't like discussing mm -hmm. with women as well, that you're guilty, not discussing with women, <laughs> tell us down below to us. Well, okay. We're done! <laughs> I said I had fun creating this video. I just had fun as well. Zena did a lot, to Aww. be honest. I was even late. She, she was already done at like. You she know, said 9 p.m. Sorry, 9 a.m. And she called me on and she's like, are, are you done? I'm like, yes, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so she keeps the time. You guys mm -hmm. should have that in mind. She keeps the time. Mm -hmm. I really had fun filming this video. Please do that. should not forget to check out her channel. And also like this video. Yeah, please. Subscribe, I bet. Please like, subscribe, share. It's really important. How many okay. likes do you want? How many eh? likes do you want to have? Eh? How many likes do you, would you have, like to have? Ah, God. I have some. My average like is like 30 something. So if you could give me 200 1,000 at best <laughs>